Brian has arrived and the solar install has begun. Batteries for the battery bank, six Trojan T105s. We got 665 watt panels going on the roof today and 335 watts uh, that will be out on the ground that I'll be adding to later. So 960 watts on the roof, 335 on the ground and we'll see where that gets us. Six panels, 960 watts up on the roof. You shouldn't have too much of a problem getting up there and tilting them. You said you just got to go up from the other side. Whatever. <laughs> My job. Yep. Why is it my job? It's just the way it is. Yep. Okay. I, I, I could use the most. What? I can use another phrase that's a little more famous. What? Because I said so. Oh. Well, that explains it. Yeah. <clears throat> so you can see how the uh, wiring is all done. All nice and neat. Comes to a junction box before the wire goes straight down into the coach. Nice and neat job. Those. So it's the info panel and you know, all the electronic crap here in the RV. That's what it looks like behind it. These are the wires coming down from the panels through the roof. And they go, uh, the shower is on the other side of this wall. And they go down into the basement and over to the charge controller. Hey guys, so we left uh, Roadrunner BLM this morning. Uh, the solar install was done yesterday. Um, and we came into Quartzsite and we got a RV park for overnight so that we can do all of our laundry and take real showers and do all that stuff uh, before we hit the road and start creeping east. And now I'm going to show you the rest of the system. Uh, we'll start over here with the uh, panel. You can see that we installed the Trimetric 2030A right here. The uh, you guys remember might remember this from the Sightseer, the 2030A. Love that meter because it counts amp hours in and out of the battery bank. Okay. Uh, you can see that the battery bank is sitting at about 14.6, 14.7. This is uh, 14.6, 14.7, okay. And remember in the video I showed you that the wires come down behind this panel. They go straight down into the basement and over to the charge controller. We're going to go outside and have a look at that now. Uh, wind's blowing pretty bad out there, so forgive me if uh, there's a lot of wind noise. Let's see. Go out here and I'll show you the um, inverter charge controller bay and the battery bank that we set up. 
this is uh what is this shady i don't know shady rest shady lane shady something rv park here in quartzite i don't remember the name of it let's see we'll open up both of these bays so you you guys can see everything okay so this is the inverter that came in the coach the magnum inverter this is the uh, cutoff for the inverter battery disconnect this is the tristar um, mppt 60 that we installed for the 960 watts of panels up on the roof and we put in a uh, disconnect to disconnect the panels from the charge controller this is an extra 40 amp PWM controller and when I want to put my ground mount panels out I just plug them into there this is already hooked up to the battery bank and uh, ready to go I just plug in my ground mount panels right there and uh, that gives us uh, 960 on the roof and 325 on the ground okay. those are the uh, tilt brackets for the panels on the roof so I can tilt them and uh, wiring for the uh, ground mount panels battery bank is uh, six Trojan T105s same as in the sight sear great battery bank you can see the um, shunt for the trimetric meter that we put on the wall inside and we put in a 60 amp bullet fuse between the uh, batteries and the charge controller this is a 50 amp fuse between these batteries and the PWM charge controller and uh, the uh, big fuse is over there the catastrophic fuse got two of them and looks pretty good 675 amp hours total and uh, just like in the sight sear I'm going to limit us to 300 amp hours uh, just to be on the safe side. Give you a quick view of the uh, RV park that we're in. Uh, Shady, I forget the name of it, Shady something. But uh, you can see a gravel lot RV park in Quartzsite. It was uh, $33 for the night for uh, full hookups, 50 amp. And yep, that's about it. So there you have it guys, that's the solar system uh, fully installed, operational, and uh, working as, uh, you know, good as it's going to work. So. We're pretty much done in quartzite. We're going to spend the night here and um, get all the laundry done and all that stuff. Then tomorrow, we're going to have to go back to Tucson and spend the night there so that we can go to the Apple store. Because uh, both Maria and I have iPhones. And for some reason, while we were out there in the desert, our iPhones updated and now they want us to enter a uh, Apple ID and password that we set up back when we got these iPhones they're five S's so we've had them for years and neither Maria and I nor I can remember what the Apple ID and password is on either phone I think we have them written down back home but that's not doing us any good so we're hoping that we can go back to Tucson spend the night there uh, go over to the mall to the Apple store and they can solve that problem for us, okay? Uh, both iPhones still work as telephones, but we can't get on the internet or get past that silly activation screen. So uh, until then, uh, unless we have Wi-Fi on the computer, we're pretty much out of touch, okay? Uh, but we'll get that solved and we'll get, uh, you know, back on the road creeping east. And uh, thanks for tuning in, guys. If you haven't subscribed, we invite you to subscribe and follow along. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments below. Thanks again for watching the video. We really appreciate you. Have a great day. We'll see you soon.